At her grade eight graduation, Kirsten Femson presented her classmates with a very unique gift, a gift that would help them to navigate the challenging high school years. And that gift soon turned into a book that was published entitled The Way They Should Go, Timeless Advice for the Teen Journey. At that time, uh, it was 2006, and, and we had uh, Kirsten, we interviewed her on 100 Huntley Street, and we offered the book at that time as well. Uh, now, years later, uh, Kirsten is a university graduate, and we wanna get caught up with her and find out how things are going. And we also decided to re-offer this book on this uh, September month, back to school month. And so uh, we wanna let you have a copy of it because as the subtitle says, it is timeless advice. And so Kirsten, welcome back. Thank you for having me. <laughs> now take us back, uh, Kirsten, to the grade eight year and, and what, what really sparked this whole idea of presenting um, this advice to your classmates? Um, well, I went to Pickering Christian School and it was a really intimate classroom. We were uh, friends from pretty much JK to grade eight and there was 10 of us that went all the way through. Um, so I wanted to give them something that they could remember, cherish, and I thought well, what a great idea to give them advice because I know going through high school is a difficult, challenging couple of years. So I thought this was something that they could have hands on and they could really enjoy and get positive advice from. And so uh, how long did it take, uh, describe the process of, of compiling this and, and who you wrote out to to get advice? So I think, I wanna say we started in grade six. Um, uh, so it was a long time in the making. Yes, um, and we contacted <clears throat> lots of Christian leaders, also uh, different athletes and coaches. I wanted to get a mix of Christian and non-Christian so it could really uh, reach out to everyone, but when they read it, they could get all that Christian influence. So it was really important for me to get a mixture so it would touch everyone. Um, and yeah, we started in grade six and the process just took off from there. Lots of letters being sent out, um, lots of really exciting when we got different replies. And yeah, that was the process with my mom and dad and my little sister. Now, were you surprised at how many responses you got back? Yeah. It was like close to 100 or something, wasn't it? Yeah, it was very uh, overwhelming in a positive yeah. way, so it was exciting. Well, people like uh, Ravi Zacharias, Bill Bright, Kay Arthur, Charles Stanley, Jack Hayford, Chuck Colson, uh, David Maines, mm -hmm. and even uh, you know my wife Anne and myself <laughs> contributed uh, to the book by, by the time it got published. And so, um, is there a, a particular piece of advice, perhaps, that uh, went into the book that you put into the hands of so many uh, that stood out to you? Um, well, I really loved Claire Carvin Dias, and you guys actually had her on your uh, show, I think it was around 2000, when she's an Olympic synchronized swimmer. She won the bronze medal. And in her um, letter, she wrote uh, how you should talk to God about the dreams and goals you have, and uh, he will be your biggest cheerleader. So I thought that was really inspiring. So I think that was my favorite, and she was a synchronized swimmer, so I had a great connection with it because you've been very much involved in synchronized swimming through the years. Yes. Uh, maybe tell us a little bit about um, what you've been up to. So I've uh, competed at three world championships in Sweden in 2010, Italy in 2012, and we just did our third one in Montreal, and they've been incredible. I have absolutely love the sport, and I also coach um, at the provincial level in the Athletes with Disability program. Uh -huh. So I'm really involved in um, synchronized swimming almost every day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot has happened uh, since your grade eight graduation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, of course, you graduated high school. And then tell us about what you've uh, been doing post high school. Um, so I went to Ryerson University and I graduated in 2012 uh, with a BA in psychology. And I recently just got accepted into a postgraduate program for victimology, which I'm really excited about. It focuses on working with um, victims who have been human trafficked, uh, physical and sexual abuse for ch of children and domestic abuse. So I'm really excited about this program. I don't think many people know about the issue of human trafficking. Um, and they think it's more things that hap a topic that happens in other countries, but it's going on in Canada and the United States. So it's really good that we have advocates for um, the victims of uh, this horrific uh, crime that's going on. 
And besides uh, that education stream, you've also been helping out in the community and, and volunteering. Uh, share about some of the things you're involved with there as well. Um, so I'm volunteering at a shelter for teens. It's amazing. The people that are there are absolutely incredible, um, fantastic role models. And uh, I work in the education side of it. So I teach different lessons through the day on proper nutrition, staying um, active, uh, dealing with your emotions and how to project them in a positive way if you're upset. So it's been a great um, opportunity for me and also to be a positive role model in these um, kids' life because they come through, through some really rough situations. Now, uh, a lot of young people, when they're going through high school and into university, uh, will fall away from the faith, the one that, that they were raised with. Um, why do you think you've been able to, to stay strong through the years? I think I've been blessed with a uh, Christian family and not everyone gets that opportunity so that's really encouraged me. But it's also picking positive role models. Um, also keeping yourself active in positive things. I think because I was always involved in synchronized swimming it kept me um, really on a straight line and uh, that's a huge blessing. So I would encourage any parents and kids to get their kids involved in sports be and stuff like that and music because it keeps you away from the outside world and um, just my faith in God. Uh, yes, I've had struggles, but it's kept me on the line and mm -hmm. just positive um, reading your Bible and uh, different devotions have also encouraged me and looking up to Christian people like uh, athletes like Claire Carpendias. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the book has uh, a lot of great uh, people that you looked up to and yeah. you sought out their advice and you shared it with others and we, we want to share it uh, with others again because it is timeless ad advice. And as you know, we're, we produce these documentaries and that we want to help people uh, put into the hands of youth influencers in the various areas. You, you work with youth, you probably see some of the things that they deal with. Mm -hmm. Uh, and maybe uh, maybe you can put a, a challenge out for those to, to support because we want to send a copy everyone that helps us with a hundred dollar gift to get one of those four box DV set uh, four DVD box sets into the hands of people if we want to send out a copy of your book maybe you can just put a, a quick challenge to someone yeah I would love if everyone could just give this to their maybe child or granddaughter or friend that's going mm. through high school or university or making the transition from elementary school to high school is they're short reads so they're not overwhelming if you're not much of a reader um, there's they have so much encouragement and you feel blessed after you read them so just anyone that you come across that's younger and you know even if if you're an adult, pass it on because I think they'll really be um, encouraged by the book. And I think just being here uh, and ha having this caught, getting caught up interview is kind of the where are they now Huntley Street edition. Yeah. Uh, it, it's it, encouraging for people, for parents, for grandparents to see yes it's possible for someone to go through those years uh, and stay grounded in their faith. And so thank you for coming back. Thank you for and, having And sharing your, uh, your updated story. Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay, God bless.